what is up guys, Zero from Mora here, back again with another video, and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Select Avengers Infinity War Iron Man Mark 50. So, let's get into it. Taking a look around the packaging, it says Marvel Select, Iron Man Mark 50, Disney Store, Infinity War logo, cool picture of Iron Man on the side and on the back, and the barcode, so pause if you want to read it or scan it, nothing else at the top and nothing else at the bottom it's pretty small packaging for a diamond select but without further ado let's get into it Doing some size comparisons, here is the Select next to the Marvel Legends on the left and the SH Figure Arts on the right. Also here is Iron Man next to a couple of Marvel Select figures like Captain America and Spider-Man and more Marvel Legends figures like Tony Stark and Thanos. For Iron Man's accessories, he comes with three pairs of additional hands, so one pair of these fisted hands, good for just walking poses and standing up poses. I uh, like how they painted the Repulsor Blast silver, added some gold highlights to the knuckle, which is movie accurate and has a nice paint job as well. Next up, Iron Man comes with these Repulsor swords. I don't know what kind of weapon you would call these, but you can see it looks really cool. There uh, are some blue accents here. They painted the knuckles gold as well. You can see he's holding it like so. There are no hinges on this, uh, this pair of hands. You can see the tips here are painted blue. Uh, and that's what it looks like um, with him uh, holding these weapons. And moving over to these cannon looking things, the, they are a little bit thicker. Um, has some uh, gold accents to them uh, as opposed to the blue ones on the other one. Uh, you can see he is also holding it like so. And looking on the inside of the cannon, you can see they also painted the inside a little, uh, little gold as well, which is nice. So that's what it looks like with those types of weapons on him. And lastly, Iron Man comes with his arm cannon that we see in the movie as well. Uh, nicely sculpted and painted. You can see these silver and gold uh, highlights right here are painted cleanly. On the inside, you got a peg showing you how to peg this on. You could peg it either on the left or the right arm here. So that's what that looks like. And just showing you the articulation, just rotating it right here. So that's what that looks like when rotating around the arm. Get some cool poses. You can get more flexibility uh, with this compared to the SH Figure Arts. And it looks pretty cool. And you could also mix and match uh, these weapons to get a more um, different looking Iron Man. And comparing it to the SH Figure Arts, you can see how much smaller it is compared to the SH Figure Arts and how much more detail the SH figure arts um, has, etc, etc, but yeah, it would have been nice if they added some um, some little effect pieces on this guy, but that's okay. So, taking a closer look at Iron Man here, starting off with the eyes, the eyes are kind of painted weirdly, you can see there are some uh, black highlights on the eyes, which is looks a little off. You can see there are some uh, scuffing marks right there, uh, or paint chippings right there, but the face plate is uh, painted cleanly. Uh, moving over to the torso here, it looks pretty cool. I like how they painted the silver accents there, painted the arc reactor. You can see the chest here, uh, I don't know, has this weird little texture to it. It is a dense plastic. Uh, the arc reactor would have been nice if it was painted a little bit uh, brighter. You can see there are some uh, gold um, marks there on the... Um, uh, wrist peg right there, which is uh, due to uh, its scuffing, uh, but that's okay. Doesn't bother me that much. Uh, you can see there are some silver accents going down to his thighs here and his calves. Looks really cool. You can see his thighs here, same silver accents all the way at the bottom, all the way down to his ankles as well. Nicely sculpted. And he does have pickles at the bottom of his feet, so yeah. For Iron Man's articulation, starting off with the head, it does rotate all the way around. It can look up that far, which is quite disappointing, and downward that much, which is great. Also has the tilty-shifty head movement like so. Now the arms here, they do rotate all the way around. They can bend outward, 
just slightly over 90 degrees or 90 degrees however you see it and inward that much no bicep swivel uh, over a 90 degree bend on the elbow which is great it's how the cut is sculpted as well and rotates at the elbow like so and if you want you could break Iron Man's arm like that now the wrist here are on hinges so they do rotate all the way around you can bend up that far for the fist and down that much like so now for the repulsor blast hands uh, they do rotate all the way around as well they can bend upward that far which is really nice really appreciate that and down that much and moving over here to the torso which is the most disappointing part of this figure bends for that far and back uh, it's just you it doesn't move at all uh, you could do some side to side movement would recommend rotating it all the way around because you might scuff up the paint and has a 360 swivel legs can kick forward that far so it could sit down kind of awkwardly and backward pretty pretty nicely um, it also has a upper thigh swivel double jointed knees right there which is great uh, feet bend down that far and up that much like so and he also has the ankle pivot and doing the ankle pivot test the more extreme one he's good to go and the less extreme one yeah he's good so taking an even closer look at Iron Man here starting off by decapitating his small head and revealing what is going on with the articulation in the head here you can see it is a double uh, ball uh, peg right there um, you can see rotating it here there is not a lot of range that you can get which is quite unfortunate uh, what you can do if you want to get more range you can half it so you could just uh, slightly um, rest the head on the peg right there uh, it will look okay in photos it does look okay right here uh, but uh, on some certain angles it just looks ridiculous and looks like his head is floating uh, but yeah just looking around here see the neck area has some painted silver looking at the armpits here uh, nice silver painted throughout you can see that deep cut on the forearm there which allows him to get uh, more uh, range on his elbow here and rotating the torso you can see they also painted uh, the inner details right there which is nice and you can see there is a nice smooth arch to his back right there and you can see here um, I don't know why I just like to fiddle with this you can see the um, little elbow guard here kind of hides up the joints and it's made out of this uh, rubbery plastic a little bit um, soft so yeah gives you a clearance right there looking at the thighs here bending it outward looking inside you can see how that moves would have been nice if he can kick forward a little bit farther but yep rotating the thigh here bending the knees now one problem is the quality control it is supposed to be fully painted red but you can see it got scuffed up probably when articulating the knee so that's quite unfortunate and it does bother me a little bit uh, but uh, yeah you could see that and looking at the ankle joints rotating it around here you could see they painted the silver throughout right there a little bit messy but at least they tried to and nothing else uh, about this Iron Man figure so yeah so yeah that is it guys hope you guys like it be sure to rate comment and subscribe hit the bell turn on notifications because there are more videos coming hopefully that game reverse spider-man and the art of avengers infinity war which is coming out on november 6th hopefully i can get that video up on the 6th or the 7th the, the day after uh, but overall this is a fun figure to pose even though the torso and the head is very limited uh, he's still enjoyable with all of his accessories like the arm cannons and the other um, repulsor blades or big cannons that he has I uh, would have been nice if they gave him a um, the jet pack or the flight pack accessory that we saw in the movie uh, but that's okay he's still fun uh, a fun figure to uh, pose around and use all the accessories uh, the articulation is so-so uh, the paint job is so-so as well 
And with Marvel Select figures, you can either get a good egg or a bad egg. Unfortunately, I got a bad egg uh, with all the paint um, uh, scuffings here and there. And um, it's just, it's not good. But hopefully you can pick out a good Iron Man figure. So yeah, that is it, guys. Hope you guys like it. Air off, Mora. This is Sasan and out. Peace. Shoo.